This tutorial is designed to show students how to use the Stata statistical software for econometrics. This first tutorial will show students the basics of how to designate a working directory, where you can save your data, how to actually create a log, which will save all the data which is displayed in the viewing pane in Stata, and also how to create a do file, which will allow you to save commands which you wish to complete. The basic setup of Stata is that we have a viewing screen here where all the output which we generate is viewable and all the commands we type will appear. We have a command screen which shows all the previous commands we have used. The commands will be highlighted in red if there was an error and they were unable to be completed. We have a variable screen which displays where all the variables we have are. And we have a command screen where we can type in our commands. The first command we're going to use is to set the working directory. We do this through using the cd command. And we then designate the area we wish to save all our files to. Now in this instance I'm going to save everything to my memory stick which is in the G drive. So I type the cd command, open my inverted commas, and I type g colon slash. Now if I wish to save it into a specific folder, I can continue to type here and name the folder. And when I'm finished, I simply close my inverted commas and hit return. This saves my working directory as my G drive, which is the memory stick in this case. Note that depending on the computer you're using, the designation for your memory stick may be different. Once we've, say, we've designated our working directory, the next thing we wish to do is open a log. To do this, we use the log using command. Again, we open our inverted commas, and we now name the log. So in this instance, I'm going to name it tutorial1. Now, importantly, before we close our inverted commas, I'm going to type dot log. And this tells Stata to save our log file in a text format. If I don't type dot .log, the log file will only be able to be opened on computers which possess Stata. Using dot .log allows any computer to open the log file once it has a text reader. Again, we hit return, and we can see that we've opened a log. It's located in my G drive, which is my working directory and my memory stick. The log type is text, and we've the date on which it was opened. When we're completed using our log, we can close it by typing log close. And this will close the log, and any output produced further in our output window will not be saved. The final element we're going to do is create a do file, which will allow us to save these three commands. To create a do file, we select the new do file tab on the toolbar. This opens up a do file editor. And what we can do is copy and paste the commands we wish into this do file. We can see that the commands for Stata appear as blue text, any names appear as red text, and our functions appear in black. We can save this by going File and Save As. We can then save this to our memory sticks. That concludes this tutorial on setting up Stata. Further tutorials are available and can be found on the SharePoint site.